Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, in this episode we are going to kill the Baron, hopefully. The dungeon is almost done, we just need to finish it. And here's the group. No Jester this time, we got a Crusader, an Occultist, a Houndmaster and a Vestal. This way we should have more damage than in a group with a Jester. And if we'll need some stress reduction, we still got Inspiring Cry. Which is not as good as Jester's, but it's available in case we'll need it. So, other than that, we are ready. We got all the trinkets. Let's go! So, what do we want to bring with us? We'll get some food. If only to be able to heal ourselves. And... Well... Medicinal herbs to remove debuffs, bandage to remove bleeds, and antivenom to remove blight. We could grab the scales, just in case. We might not need it, but I'd rather grab it. One stack of blood should be enough. I'm not sure if we'll need skeleton keys. I guess we can take one. And maybe for some stress reduction. Not sure if there will be any terror effects, but we can grab some anyway. And I think that will do. Do we need torches? We might need a few. To remove obstacles. Yeah, this looks fine. Alright, let's go then. Just one final look. Alright, let's go. So, first of all, we need to get the green key. Which should be somewhere around here. So, that's where we're going. Let's go. And then we do the Baron. Simple enough, hopefully. Oh, a wine crate. So with this we would actually be able to camp. What did that require again? I think a shovel. Yup, that was it. So now we could actually camp if we want to. Yeah, I think so. We're going to do that, but a little bit later. That will definitely be useful. Okay then, you are already craving. He can wait a little bit. So, I'm using the stun setup again with Hands from the Abyss. That should be quite nice. We'll have 120% base chance to stun. So, we got a guaranteed stun on this guy, for example. That is so good. That will be very helpful. Anyway, what's next? We could use Bleed on all of them. Yeah, let's go with that. So, there we go. It worked. And we should be able to kill one supplicant at least. And now either single target or zealous accusation. Zealous accusation will look guaranteed 6 damage, which will be enough. Here. Done. We almost killed both of them. We are 4 damage short. Some blight, that's fine. We can remove it if we want to. And kill that guy in the back, he can be quite nasty. So, I guess that's that. Bye bye. Alright then, let's move on. We are only getting started here. The key shouldn't be too far away. Right, our inventory is already full, so I'll skip this. We can always pick it up later. Yep, I'm skipping that. Yeah, we don't need it. So, we are going north. I think. Yeah, we are definitely going north. Off we go then. Hello, anyone home? Our stress levels look good. Okay then, another fight. We got an Esquire in the back. I might have to switch to that stress reduction skill, we'll see. Anyway, let's stun the Esquire. Like so, he can do some nasty damage. And we could try one more stun. 
60%. Let's try. Nope, resisted. Oh well, you tried. Yep, he will use guard, which is slightly annoying. Nothing we can't handle. So much for your guard. And now we can use the bleed. Nice one, all of it landed. Their bleed resist is pretty low. Only 40% on this guy, 35 on the man servant. So, more bleeds. That should kill some of them at least. Yeah, it will kill the man servant. Then we just need a little bit of extra damage. We need six more damage on the Esquire. So let's maybe do that. Here. Or we can get 17 critical. That works too. How about a little bit of healing? Here you go. And let's finish this. That will kill them both. Well done. We got a little bit of blood. Right, I would definitely like the blood. Here. And let's swap our skills. We'll take Inspiring Cry. Alright, let's move on. We're going north. Yep, this way. That's a pretty long corridor right there. Okay, makes me a little bit nervous. There's probably going to be a trap in here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, I'm not picking that up. Craving. Yeah, we should probably use the blood by now. Fine. Here, that will give us one extra inventory slot, actually. So, that's convenient. Here, two Esquires, right. I think that's the key. Well, we'll find out after we kill them. I'm pretty sure that's it, though. Alright. So... I'm keeping dog treats for the boss fight, obviously. Let's attack him directly. Try to kill him as quickly as possible. Try to kill one of them as quickly as possible. But we will stun the other one. Well, actually, I can't stun the one all the way in the back. Let's go with damage. Here, we got one. Good enough. I'll take it. I can't stun him with the Crusader, unfortunately. Just use single target attack. How's our stress? 39, 30. We can reduce it a little bit when we camp. And let's try a stun again. It's not like the Vestal can kill him. No, resisted. Oh well. He missed. Looking good. Let's kill him before he gets a chance to attack again. 46 stress. Here, that will do. And maybe a little bit of healing before we finish. And let's reduce the stress slightly. Here, minus 7. It's not too bad. Not as good as the Jester, but the Crusader does way better damage than the Jester. The Jester mostly relies on bleeds. Which aren't too bad in here. But with the Crusader we also got one extra stun. Here, done. So that should give us the key. And then we can go for the Baron. We'll just need an inventory slot. Yeah, that's the key, definitely. Alright then. So, now, we go back. There's one fight in the corridor here, but we don't actually have to do that one. We can go all the way around, like this. And camp in the last room, over here. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Sounds good to me, that way we can avoid one fight. It would probably be fine to do that. But I'd rather avoid it anyway. So, next up, Baron. Looking forward to it. 
We should be able to handle it just fine with this group. There is a little bit of luck involved on the Baron, which can make it easier or harder. At least from what I remember about the fight. Oh, he's going to investigate. Well, whatever, there's nothing in there. Congrats on wasting your time. Okay, how's our stress? We can reduce some of it when we camp. I'm glad we got that firewood. We can also get some self buffs before the boss. Okay, one more room and then we'll camp. We have more than enough food. Yeah, we got 20 food. 16 now, I guess. Come on, people. Faster. We don't have all day. Here, now we can camp. Alright then. Reduce our stress by 10. And first, prevent nighttime ambush. Can anyone else do it? Yes. Well, which one is more useful? Neither, really. We don't need the surprise bonus. You can't surprise the boss. What's the cost? Is it the same? It's exactly the same. Okay, sure. So then we can get accuracy buff. I certainly wouldn't mind that. And dodge. And reduce the stress a little bit. Can we even do that? Not really. Actually, yes, we can. Therapy dog, right? We got that. That is such a nice skill. Okay, and minus 20 stress for the Houndmaster himself. And does that. So, let's do this, shall we? Yes, let's. That will be one epic dungeon done. This guy is getting on my nerves. But alright. Which quirk is it? Hard to tell. Probably this one. Okay, whatever. He won't get any more chances. Not sure if there's a fight in this room over here. Because the Baron is here. Well, we'll find out. Open sesame. Nope. I guess we could have camped here. Not that it really makes a difference. Alright, let's do this. So before we go in, do we want to use anything? We could give ourselves some resist buffs before going in, but we can also do it during combat. Yeah, let's just go. What about blood? No one is craving. Alright, let's go. So here's the boss. The idea here is to break the eggs and they will have some enemies inside. And we should do it one by one because then we can kill them one by one. The downside is that if we discover the boss, he will break all the other eggs himself. So right now we got 25% chance to fight everything all at the same time. That's the black factor that I was talking about. Okay, right, we got a supplicant, good. I can only use Dazzling Light. Fine. Oh yeah, right, we can't use healing skills on this fight, I remember. Alright. Could be interesting. Alright, let's kill this fella. That will make our Vestal not amazingly useful. But alright. So, next. This one. Okay, yeah, we got the boss. That is slightly annoying. We might be able to stun the boss, because it's an actual action, breaking the eggs. At least, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. This is just the first wave, by the way. Okay. Now he will break the other egg. On his next turn. The first wave is pretty easy. But it will get harder after that. The last one can have Esquires. Which are pretty nasty. Okay, that's the terror effect or horror, whatever. 
them okay out. let's actually use hounds hurry here okay one more supplicant now we can use healing so well we could try stun again we are almost guaranteed to stun the boss because with the demon skull drone we got 170% base oh no never mind he can dodge whatever be that way that was slightly unfortunate actually yeah that stress attack is pretty bad Here, let's remove that. Unfortunately, I only have three of those. Well, anyway, we have to kill that supplicant, so let's do that. Here, good enough. Bye bye. We are probably going to hit 100 stress. Yeah, we are definitely going to hit 100. We are already getting close. Right. Do we debuff him? He only has 10% protection. Yeah, let's just hit him. Start doing the damage. Crowd pleaser, whatever that was. Okay, just AoE damage. 85. I can reduce it a little bit. And we might want to heal ourselves. You know, I'm just saying. Because we don't want to go into the face with no healing, low on health. That's for sure. Alright, now we can do some proper damage. Judgment. Maybe we should debuff him. I mean, marking him will give us more damage. And we still got the dog treats. But I think I'm going to keep them for one of the later phases. That seems like a better idea. We can debuff his damage, as in the damage he does. So let's do that. Here, so that pushes him down to zero protection, and it will debuff his damage as well. I don't think I'm going to bother marking him. Yeah, let's just keep attacking. Hopefully some of the bleeds will land. He has 55% bleed resist, which isn't that high. Grub heal. Alright people, give me a nice crit. You know what, let's reduce our stress a little bit. Here. It probably won't help too much, but it will help a little bit. I like how he did zero damage on the two people in the back. And we can try to stun him. Here, it actually worked, nice one. I mean, he only has, what? 17% chance to resist that? That's not too high. I'm tempted to mark him, it is plus 90% damage, so it could be massive if we get a crit. Fine, we'll mark him. That will extend the protection debuff as well. Okay, descent. What we need is a crit. From the Houndmaster, that's what we need. We'll see about that. Okay, that's the second phase. Fine. Same deal again. We need to break the eggs. He could be in any one of those. This one will be easier to hit. Okay, supplicant, that's fine. Let's just stun him, actually. So right now we cannot heal until later. Okay, oh, right, we cannot stun him because he has 170. Whoops, my bad. Here, he's dead. Hopefully we'll get a little bit luckier than previously. Let's find out. No boss, please. Okay, it's not a boss. Good, good. Don't use the stun. See, even the narrator is impressed. Okay, down he goes. Shame I can't even use Inspiring Cry. We need to get rid of the corpses. Just like that. So now we got 50% chance. Okay, we fail at coin toss, apparently. Well, that's fine. I think I'm just going to mark him right away. Here, that will help us do more damage. And we don't have a choice, we have to use Dazzling Light. It might land. 
No, it did not. Oh well, whatever. We should probably break that egg, although... You know what? No, let him break it. Because he will have to use an action for that, I think. Maybe? Okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to do that. Here, 15 damage. I was quietly hoping for a crit, but we landed the bleed. He's still not doing it. Okay. Interesting. I thought he's going to do it by now, but apparently not. And I need to move the occultist, because we can't use hands from the abyss from back here, unfortunately. I need to be in this position specifically. He's still not doing it. That's interesting. Okay, I mean... Oh, right, we cannot use heals while the egg is up. Okay, let's break it, it's fine. We'll deal with it. While doing damage to him. Yeah, we will obviously need some heals. I thought he's going to break them himself. What's that buff? Okay, it's not going to help you, sorry. Oh sure, now we get a crit. We still got one more phase to do. Let's see how much more damage we can do. He will transition at one third, I think. But the question is, how much damage can we do before we hit one third? Abusive. Could have been worse. He will increase stress for others, so... There's a good chance the Vestal and the Houndmaster will hit 100 pretty soon. Let's try to stun him. Then we can use Holy Lance, that should work. To move ourselves back into the front. And now we can actually do some healing. Oh yeah, right, I don't have Holy Lance. Right, right. Just hit the boss then. As in, I do have Holy Lance, but it's not active. So, we could try to stun him again. We got something like 40% chance to make it work, or we can debuff his damage. Let's debuff his damage. Here, minus 17%. He doesn't do that much, but it's still useful. Oh, he can heal himself, really? Alright then, if you say so. Only 13 with dog treats, seriously? That's kind of bad. He's not transitioning yet. That's a good thing. We still need healing. Here you go. He's at 93. 20 damage, nice. That's what I'm talking about. The third act. Okay, he's at 73. And we can move back into proper positions, maybe. Yeah, I think we should do that. We still got that buff active for two more rounds, so let's not wait. This is the hardest part. There are esquires. We can stun him. Don't you dare skip the turn. I don't think he can with Abusive, he just increases stress for others. Alright, stun this guy, because he is quite dangerous. And he's dead. So next... I hope we'll get lucky with that. I need this to not be a boss. Okay, it's not a boss, good. The important part is that we killed the Esquire. We can't stun the Supplicant, so we just go with damage. You really need to shut up, you know. Nice one. Now we got 50% chance. Let's get rid of the corpses first. Because the Crusader can't hit anything all the way in the back. I should really move the Crusader back to the front. So how about we do that? Oh, shut up. Yeah, let's just do that. This is better. Okay, so which one is going to be the boss? Okay, Esquire, good, that is perfect. I didn't want to deal with the boss and the Esquire at the same time. Okay, nice, we stunned him. That is perfect. I actually don't want to kill him yet. Well, no, we can't use healing. Might as well kill him. And now, the boss. Should be easy enough. Well, let's do this. We still got dog treats. We'll wait for the next turn. 
Here's the boss. We need to do 73 damage. I'll use the holy water. We still got the scales. I don't think we'll need them. They are kind of valuable, so I don't want to use them if I don't feel like I really need them. But let's increase our resists. Alright, we only need 58 more damage. 56, technically. I'm pretty sure he has all the same abilities that he had previously. I don't think he has anything new in the last phase. I'm pretty sure he does not. No dog treats yet. I want to mark him first. And to debuff his protection, like that. Then we can also debuff his damage with the occultist. Nice, he missed us. That was the attack that heals him. You know what? No, let's stun him instead. Here, nice one. I love having 170% base stun. That's so good. A little bit of healing. We pretty much got this, I think. Yeah, easily. Craving. I'm not going to waste blood. We are almost done with this. We need like two more turns and that's it. Hey, that's just rude. 140. Well, I'm glad we are almost done. We do have horror effect. So remove that. And let's stun him again. He doesn't have the buff. Here, it worked. He's not marked anymore, but I'm not going to waste time marking him. It's not needed. Come on, give me the Houndmaster already. He does get a lot of actions, which is slightly annoying. Come on, Houndmaster, finally! That was not nearly enough damage. Better. We need what? Eight more, literally. 145 stress. There, he's dead. And we are done. We got a blueprint. We are not leaving just yet because there's one room in the back. I think that's just the second red key. Not actually treasure. Because I skipped one gate that requires a red key. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the red key. Yep. We don't need it. So, we are done. We are leaving. Nice. What was the actual reward for the quest? Baron's Lash, right. And Sharpened Letter Opener. Oh, that is not too bad. For Grave Robber only. Plus 25% damage with pick to the face, basically. Yeah, this is basically an item to use with pick to the face attack. Hey, that's not bad. Level 5. Perfectionist. Plus 5 stress when an attack misses. Okay. Light sensitive. Alright, back to town. The virulent clown and we removed the Crimson Curse from everyone. At least for now. Let's send people to stress reduction facilities. Off you go then. That is going to be a little bit of gold. Anyone else? We got some diseases, apparently. Remove that. How much do you have? 38. We can send him to the bar or something, because that's cheaper. Or to the gambling hall. Oh, he can't go to the bar. Alright, fine, let's reduce it to zero. We got 22,000. Fine. And let's check the stagecoach. We got a level 2 grave robber. I'm going to grab her for now. I mean, we can always dismiss her later. Doesn't cost us anything, and it's a level 2 hero with all the upgrades. So that is nice. What I want is a mana terms, but I've not seen one in a long, long time. We don't have a single mana terms on the roster. I would really like to get one. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.